Hello friends, welcome to RisingPearl.com. I'm a friend, your host Roy. We are just wrapping up series number two, Triangles. Friends, today, webisode number 27 is really a wrap-up or a conclusion of this series that we have looked at in tremendous amount of detail. Here, I'm going to provide you with a list of, or should I say links, of important webisodes that we have covered earlier in this series. We started the series by talking about comparing shapes and more specifically comparing triangles. Then we looked at, we had a quick recap of what are congruent triangles. And friends, as you can recall, congruent triangles uh, was the main topic what we looked at in triangles in the last season or our ninth grade. Then we went on to take a look at what are similar triangles. We then looked at this very important theorem which is also known as basic proportionality theorem or sometimes called as Thales theorem and we subsequently looked at solving questions or problems based on basic proportionality theorem actually we covered the solving different kinds of questions over a course of four videos then we turned our attention to describing what are the different similarity rules or theorems so the first one was AAA. -A -A. Each A stands for angle. So this was angle, angle, angle similarity rule. We looked at then the next similarity rule which was angle, angle. That, that is two A's. Angle, angle similarity rule. After that we looked at SSS similarity rule. That is side, side, side similarity rule. And finally, the last similarity rule was SAS, which is also called as SAS or side angle side similarity rules. So friends, when we looked at each of these similarity rules or similarity theorems, what we looked at was if each of these conditions were given, how can we prove that two triangles are similar? So we did the, we for each of these uh, webisodes, we looked at what the theorem is telling us very clearly and then we looked at how can we prove the theorem. And then we looked at solving questions or problems based on similar triangles which we covered over the course of three videos. Then we looked at a special theorem on areas of similar triangles. So up till this point we were talking about triangles, comparing triangles understanding similar triangles, what are, we looked at the basic proportionality theorem, we looked at questions on that, then we looked at each of the different similarity rules or theorems, then we looked at general questions on similar triangles. This is for the first time friends, here we looked at areas of similar triangles. There is a special theorem that we looked at here, which basically was talking about the ratio of areas of similar triangles is equal to square of ratios of corresponding sides. So then subsequently we looked at solving questions on areas of similar triangles, what kind of questions you may get in your tests and exams and if you get them how should you look to approach those questions. And finally we started taking a look at right angle triangle related theorem there is a special theorem that we looked at here and we talked about how can we prove Pythagoras theorem. Now Pythagoras theorem is something we have learned in our earlier grades uh, in the previous season which is that in a right angle triangle hypotenuse square is equal to sum of squares of the other two sides. So in this particular episode we looked at how we actually prove Pythagoras theorem and as you can imagine then we subsequently followed up that by talking about the proving by the converse of Pythagoras theorem and finally friends at the very last we looked at solving questions that may relate to Pythagoras theorem. So friends this presentation this webisode actually concludes our series number two triangles. So I hope you have been following us along this webisode video is supposed to give you a list of all topics and if you just click on any one of them it will take you to the details of that particular topic and friends now 
I hope that you join us for the next series. Until then, goodbye.